Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel World Fashion and Decoration Tour. Today in this video I present to you some traditional English country farmhouse style home decor inspiration. Let's start the video. Traditional English country farmhouse style home decor is characterized by a cozy, rustic, and charming aesthetic that draws inspiration from traditional rural homes in the English countryside. Key elements of this style include Number 1. Natural materials. Use of wood, stone and brick is common, with exposed beams and wooden floors adding to the rustic feel. Number 2. Neutral and pastel colors. A palette of soft muted colors such as creams, whites, pastel blues and greens. Often complemented by natural oak tones. Number three, antique and vintage furniture, incorporating all on, often mismatched furniture pieces that exude a sense of history and comfort. Number four, floral and plate fabrics. Soft furnishings like cushions, curtains, and upholstery often feature floral patterns, gingham, or plaid. Number five, cozy textiles. Layered textiles, including wooden trows, knitted blankets, and plush rugs, contribute to a warm and inviting atmosphere. Six farmhouse kitchen, a key feature with large farmhouse sinks, wooden cabinets, and open shelving, and traditional appliances. Number seven, decorative accessories, items like vintage clocks, ceramic pictures, or the iron candle holders, and botanical prints, add to the rustic charm. spaces. Often the exterior includes cottage gardens with an abundance of flowers, herbs, and climbing plants like roses or ivy. This style all about creating a homey, welcoming environment that feels both timeless and lived in. English country farmhouse style home decor goes beyond just aesthetics. It is about creating a warm, welcoming environment that reflects the simplicity and charm of rural life. Here are more detailed elements and features. architectural features number one exposed wooden beams ceiling beams made of reclaimed wood are a hallmark adding rustic texture and character number two stone fireplaces large central fireplaces often made from local stone serve as focal points in living spaces. Number 3. Paneled Walls Tongue and Groove Paneling or 
baseball painted in light colors adds to the Dakota's feel. Number 4. Adjustment windows. This windows open with a small panels. I love the nitty of natural light and views of the garden. Furniture and pictures. Number one, farmhouse table. A study of the tables, often long and rectangular, with distressed finishes, are essential to dining areas. Number two, sleep covered sofa. Comfortable sofas with washable sleep covers in neutral or floral fabrics. Number 3. Custom filled sofas and armchairs. Classic tufted leather pieces and a touch of traditional elegance. Poster beds. Bedrooms often feature these beds, distressed in layered linens and coils. Textiles and fabrics. Number one, handmade coils. Coils with intricate pattern or heirloom pieces are used for bathing and throws. Number two, black and linen, curtains and tablecloths made from these materials add to the delicate vintage feel. Number three, black rugs and bedded jugs. This provides warmth and color to wooden floors. Patterns and colors. Number one, floral and botanical prints, often seen in wallpapers, upholstery, and accessories. Number two, gingham and checkered patterns, using kitchen textiles, curtains, and cushions. Muted shades, mustard yellows, and forest greens. Decorative elements. Number one, vintage accessories, old clocks, framed botanical prints, and vintage mirrors. Ceramics and pottery. Hand thrown pottery, blue and white porcelain, and ceramic pictures. Number 3. Old iron. Candle holders, candelars, and bed frames made of old iron add to the rustic charm. Baskets and crates used for stores and display, adding a functional yet decorative element. Kitchen design Number 1. Open shelving, displaying crockery, glass jars, and kitchen utensils. Buckler sink, large deep ceramic sinks that are practical and stylish. Number 
they standing furniture dressers islands and ladders rather than built in cabinetry number 4 copper pots and plants open hung from pot racks or displayed on open shelves gardens and outdoor spaces number 1 cottage garden filled with a mix of flowers herbs and vegetables often with informal winding paths number 2 climbing plants roses ivy or wisteria climbing up the walls of the house or along trees Wooden benches or the iron chairs and tables for entering the garden. Number four, plastic seats and garden house, functional and charming, often made from reclaimed materials. The traditional English country farmhouse style is about blending comfort, practicality and elegance to create a home that feels timeless and inviting. Each element from the architecture to the smallest decorative accessory contributes to an overall sense of rustic charm and homely warmth. Here are some additional details that delve deeper into the traditional English country farmhouse style home decor. Historical influence and origins. Traditional roots. This style draws heavily from the traditional homes in English countryside. These are built for practicality and longevity. These homes are often constructed from local materials and designed to withstand the British climate. Evolution Over time, these practical homes evolved to include more decorative elements, blending function with the elegance of classic English design. Room by room breakdown. Living room. Fireplace open the center bit of the living room. A large stone or brick fireplace with a mantel bit, decorated with family photos, antique clocks, or vases of fresh flowers. Setting arrangement: comfortable, overstuffed sofas and armchairs, arranged to encourage conversation. Open and cozy nook. Lighting, soft lighting from table lamps, floor lamps, and sometimes candlelights or wall sconces, often with fabric shades. The traditional English country farmhouse style is not just about a specific look, but about a way of living that values comfort. practicality and beauty it embraces imperfection celebrates craftsmanship and sweet
to create a home that feels like a heaven. In my video, I try to discuss some essential tips and accordingly present you some sample images. Pictures may not always match the words perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you.